afternoon. My name is Christopher Clark. I'm the town administrator for the town of Harwich. I'm taking an opportunity to inform the general public of different activities that would be of interest to hopefully to the community. For the first several ones, I will kind of pick topics that I think may have had general interest and then if there is interest from the general public, you can please contact our cable channel 18 to let the folks down there know and I will try to address uh, different issues as people have them. The topic that I chose for this afternoon was to talk about the FY15, fiscal year 15, which runs from July 1st of uh, 14 to uh, June 30th of FY15. The first overall goal that I've worked out with the uh, Board of Selectmen is to make sure that we maintain the level of services that we currently enjoy. So the level of services means the number of police officers, the number of firefighters, the services that we get at DPW, the services we get at the library we would retain those services into from the current year into the next. So as we develop the FY16 budget, I will use that as a place to start. That doesn't mean that if there's an opportunity to realize efficiencies that we won't take advantage of it. In fact, we definitely do try to take every advantage we can of operating government more efficiently because we do want to have the resources to be able to cover things that people ask us to do. We are a large organization but we're also a diverse organization and we have uh, kind of an ever-flowing uh, ebbs and tides of uh, fiscal uh, issues that we have to confront. So as an overall goal that would be one of the ones that I will target and endeavor to accomplish. The next goal for FY15 is that we will be asked to have our financial situation looked at by Standard & Poor's. This will be driven by the fact that we need to go out to the rating agencies for the Monomoy debt. Monomoy is a very large project. The construction of a new high school is an expensive proposition and in order for us to obtain the best bond ratings, the bond rating agencies will look at the town of Harwich, obviously, but they will also look at the town of Chatham and the Monomoy Regional District. Where Monomoy is new and has a high dependence upon Chatham and Harwich, the bond rating agencies will look at us. Uh, Chatham has a AAA bond rating and the town of Harwich has a AA plus rating. So we will look at the different elements that uh, Standard & Poor's looks at from a municipal corporation standpoint and find ways to improve our financial standing. Approximately 70% of that will be driven by the demographics of the community and 30% will be actions that the town can take on its side to try to improve our status in the financial markets. I anticipate that that will be done prior to the end of the calendar year as opposed to the fiscal year. The third goal that we had talked about and have agreed to is to look at the way the organization functions. Right now at a department, at recent department heads meeting, I think there was 22 different agencies that were represented. And by the organization chart, all 22 have some interaction with the town administrator. With our bringing, upon, uh, bringing on board our assistant town administrator, Julie Quintero Schultz, we now have the opportunity to give better management direction and better management guidance to a, uh, that same array of departments. But instead of one person trying to cover 22, we now have two people. So we will devise a, an operational plan to be able to have different departments go to either myself or to my assistant as a primary response. This does not mean that the administrator gives up you know, the ability to access. Uh, I'm certainly the administrator for everyone in the community as well as all the departments 
but I think operationally this should render better assistance to our departments in the execution of their work. So we will formally put a plan in place that will lay that out. I've been the administrator for coming up on six months and one of the areas of I think somewhat desperate need in the community is human resources. Uh, having the position of assistant town administrator be vacant for an extended period of time has created a fairly decent backlog of human resources related issues. Uh, the assistant administrator will do a fair amount of the HR uh, work and some of the areas that we will be looking at is to update our personnel bylaws which I think have, and not unusual, have been kind of left and done a little bit haphazardly so we will take a, a comprehensive look at our personnel bylaw. And then second, we have eight collective bargaining agreements that we will negotiate and attempt to have secured for FY15. We are, uh, have a, a one accomplished and a couple that are close to being accomplished. Uh, so we will make more progress in that area. The other, uh, the fifth goal that I'd like to speak uh, just briefly about is on the issue of uh, water quality and wastewater. On the wastewater issue in the community, we need to establish and, and devise a plan to come up with how are we going to govern ourselves for wastewater. Do we form a sewer commission? Does the work stay within the Board of Selectmen? So we have had some preliminary meetings and we'll present special legislation for the next annual town meeting to commence and make steps to progress in that area. The sixth goal is related to the harbors. We need to have a financing plan to put in in which the harbor revenues are matched to the harbor expenses. Our goal in this is to have the harbors be self-sufficient and the harbors as a capital expense have a lot of work that need to be done on them. So we want to match up the funding source with the work that needs to be done and try to avoid having expenses come from the general fund. The last, well, the last three areas is to, uh, number seven, is to go through and just try to identify where possible different efficiencies so we will look at, at accomplishing that and that will be on a case-by-case -case basis. Item number eight is to do a review of the various buildings. A town has a very large inventory of property that it owns and buildings that it owns. And what we will do is it's probably too big of a project to complete all in one year, but we will take pieces of it and look at sections of the organization and decide what is the best uh, road forward, whether we want to invest money to bring things up, such as the Albro House, or whether we want to seek to divest and allow the private sector to obtain some of these properties. So recommendations will be submitted back to the Board of Selectmen in that regards. And then lastly, and one of the things that uh, I would like to do is to make sure that we take full advantage of technology. And there's a lot of ways to take advantage of technology. We have recently put online the ability to pay for your transfer station sticker and your beach sticker online. So if you go to our website on online services, you could pay for those and sign up for those online through your credit card. It's these types of innovations and uh, easier ways to access government that we're seeking to accomplish. We will also look to do improvements to our website in general and in terms of remote participation to try to improve the way we do remote participation and make the ability to have meetings where people would be seen as well as heard and be able to interact in the meeting more smoothly. So hopefully that wasn't too uh, long and detailed. But I, and I do want to take the opportunity at these times to kind of go over things in a kind of a broad way to give people an understanding. And like I said, I'm, I'm happy to respond to questions. If you do have uh, individual questions that you'd like to have me cover, uh, again, just uh, please contact the folks at Channel 18. 
And um, just I do wish to say to the community, I've enjoyed my time here. I'm coming up on my six month uh, anniversary and hopefully we'll be, uh, have many more anniversaries in my time here. Thank you.